hey guys it's z here back with another tutorial i hope you all are doing great so as you saw in the preview i'm going to teach you the smooth zoom in and zoom out like how to do them so let's start but before we start uh, a lot of guys have been asking like how i do my background like how do i make him so i'll make a detailed video on it later on but for now just take a glance like how i do it so for me i use 169 format to make my clips and then what I do first is like add the PNG, give it aura. And after that, what I do is add these cutouts that I already have of the city, like backgrounds and also the grass and other stuff. So what I do is put them and then according to what I need, like what I want to do with the character in the clip, I give them like keyframes, like the clip should go from down to up or the building should go from left to right, like whatever uh, I need. So it depends upon like a person like what they want to do and after that in the end what I do is add the smoke overlay so it it gives a little bit vibe to it so that's how I usually do it like I do the same for the others like what I do is like change the cutout and the keyframes and everything is like almost the same I just replace the clip and if you guys want these backgrounds and smoke overlay and also the clouds you can have them on my discord server i have uploaded them you can join my discord server from the link in the description go and join it and get them from there so after you're done making the clips what you need to do is export them and then import them again now change your ratio back to 3 4 then select them all and make their size as big as the screen now after doing that we'll start adding the keyframes select the first clip then add a scale keyframe at the starting and now zoom in a bit like how much you want it according to your need and then go at the end add a keyframe there too of scale now you have to go a bit to the left for me i'll go 10 frames to the left and then add a keyframe there and zoom out after doing this your clip should zoom out like this now go to the second clip now you have to do the reverse like you have to add a zoom in add a scale keyframe at the starting at the end then go a bit to the left from the end now zoom in now as you can see like you have done like first zoom out then zoom in and then you have to do the same for the other two the third clip like zoom out there and now for the fourth clip if you want like to end the zoom like it should not continue so for that just add a scale keyframe at the starting then go at the end add a zoom in there and now you're done with the keyframes now all you need to do is add the graphs now these graphs are the most important thing like why my zoom in and zoom outs are so smooth for that what you need to do is select the clip then right click on it then click on show keyframe animation to see the graphs now click on this arrow now all you need to do is just select this middle frame and then add this third graph and then you're done now you don't have to do anything much in this graph this is all you need for the graph do the same for the other clips too but if you have ended like the zoom in for that for the last clip what you need to do is do the same then just drag the graph blue line like me and then you'll be done after you're done with them your clip should look something like this and now you're done and if you want to make like the glitches exactly like me, I have already uploaded a tutorial of that too on my channel. Go and make sure to watch it. See you guys next time. Till then, bye bye.